Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is uh, pretty interesting. We're going to be seeing something absolutely absurd and ridiculous. This is just going to be absolutely crazy. So if you're a fan of synchros, you'll probably be liking this, but this is going to be a godly synchro deck. Now, it is pretty broken and overpowered. If you go turn one, your opponent has no hand traps. You could literally make your entire extra deck in the, the turn. It's just unfair. Uh, this guy Skittles, he's going to be showing you the bread and butter combos here. A lot of stuff is just kind of generic. Make Librarian, draw a thousand cards. You make your entire extra deck, 15 cards within basically one turn. I say basically because uh, technically one card you make during your opponent's turn, but it's still basically the turn of one play. You shut down all of your opponent's cards. They can't do anything. Um, after this play is going off, you have multiple negates and your opponent cannot Yu-Gi-Oh! if you decide to activate this effect. Now, there is something that I do got to mention with the arrival miracle when you choose to activate the effect so anyways we got a negate here this is another negate we're going to be throwing down the uh, majestic mirage uh, and this card will be actually very good as well i'll mention some of like the newer cards because a lot of the stuff might be kind of fast here there's so many newer Yu-Gi-Oh cards like wheel synchron um but a uh, synchro world is actually what involves a lot of these uh, shenanigans to go on so you place two counters it's almost like gateway but uh the effects that you really want, so it's four, you get to uh, increase or reduce the level of a face-up monster on the field. If it's seven, you get to spell some one tuner monster from a graveyard, or ten, you get to spell some one secret monster from a graveyard, and if this card in its owner's control is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you get to spell some one crimson dragon from your extra deck, and that card's pretty good too. Uh, so uh, your opponent probably won't get rid of that. So the crimson dragon is uh, a really, really good card. So this allows you to go basically copy and get another monster. So you bounce it back to a uh, the extra deck, targeting a level seven or higher synchro monster in the field and you get to bust out another one so that's what the crimson dragon is so we're gonna go ahead and see the crimson dragon it's gonna go right into another copy of shooting majestic star dragon so we got double negates here and we still got a librarian so we're gonna keep on just making synchro monsters when you keep on making synchro monsters you're gonna keep on drawing cards so you basically get to go through your entire extra deck. you summon everything right and then on top of that you basically go through half of your deck too because librarian when you synchro you're gonna draw a card so now we're gonna see another crimson dragon and you know how i said it's every card in the extra deck. Well, this card over here, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Calamity, is going to be made during the opponent's turn, and this card is no surprise to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community of, like, busted and broken, ridiculous cards. So what this card does is when this card is Synchro Summoned, you activate this effect. For the rest of the turn, your opponent can't activate cards effect, period, and also cards your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. Your opponent can't activate cards or effects in response of activation. So basically, um, your opponent's going to have bad time. It's Cash Tears 2.0, uh, basically. Let, let, let's see if this player is going to come back. I, I don't know about Makina in 2023. Wolf, I, I, I respect you for not quitting because otherwise the gameplay wouldn't be as good. So one thing with this is he actually activates the effect of Arriving Light to actually draw the additional card. So, um, you can see, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Arriving Miracle, I forgot what they did. Change the name of the TCG. So Arriving in Light is the TCG, but Arriving Miracle is the OCG name. Nonetheless, he activates the effect, doesn't go for a Hot Dread Dragon, Archfiend Calamity, but it doesn't really matter here. So Shooting Majestic Star Dragon is going to be activating the effect here. And then we see the Majestic Mirage, which is going to go ahead and actually bring back his card. So he goes ahead, manages the card, banishes that card. Ride Miracle is going to be special summoning that uh, shooting Majestic Star Dragon. And we see the effect activated again. He's just going to go ahead now, place the Salt Synchron over there, and just re bust it out. So uh, it seems a little bit OP, you know, just to be able to go into everything. And if you're wondering what's the last card in the extra deck, remember the Crimson Dragon bounces itself back, and then he's able to make another thing. It doesn't really matter what the opponent's playing. He's even got, it is kind of considered a hand trap, the Bist archetype. So Bist Synchros are going to be absolutely just dominating if you can go turn one. I mean, just look at this. Like, this is just way too ridiculous and unfair. We legit have all the monster zones. Four boss monsters, all right? Four boss monsters. Look at how many cards he has in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards in the hand. Ran through the entire extra deck, basically, in the span of, basically, one of his opponent's turn. Again, he made all 15 cards, basically. Again, remember, one is made during his opponent's turn, because that's when you need to be going for uh, the Hot Red Dragon Archer and Calamity. But he decided, not no effect over there. He just needs to draw one. So, remember, uh, the Riving in Miracle uh, can do that all over there. But... Uh, Yo, this deck profile was insane, but this is just how ridiculous Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten, and Synchros are indeed definitely coming back with uh, this play turn one. I mean, again, if your opponent has no hand traps, um, this deck can pop off. I mean, you saw them go through the half 
of the actual deck turn one and on top of that the entire extra deck turn one via skittle so big shout out to him with his build over here so if you guys want it here's the build i'll mouse over the cards relatively quick uh but i'll highlight the newer cards so wheel synchron is pretty easy if this card you control is uh use a synchro material you can treat it as a non-tuner so that's really good that you can have a level five tuner or non-tuner and then on top of that you can only use each effects of it once per turn so during your main phase you can immediately after this effect resolves so normal summon one um level four or lower monster and you can't supposed to summon things except for synchro so everything is synchros in the extra deck so it locks you down there's actually three different cards that lock you in this uh deck but it doesn't really matter it's not a big deal because it's a synchro deck uh so that's one of the newer cards here then we also have revolution synchron that makes so if you would uh synchro summon a power tool synchro or a level seven or eight dragon synchro monster this card in your hand can be used as material so that's pretty good and if it's in your graveyard you control level seven or higher you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard and then special summon it but slowly becomes one it's almost like the bootleg glow up a bulb and mini power tool dragon over here and then we have assault synchron during your main phase you special summon it you take some damage but you can't special summon anything except for synchros and then what's called is uh face up in the monster zone but dragon secret monster you control is treated or banished you banish the card from graveyard target one of those monsters and special summon it that is how we uh got the effect of the uh, other effect of the majestic mirage over here because you can only use the uh you can apply one of the following effects but you can't apply the same effect of it once again this turn but it doesn't matter because you can assault synchron and recycle that monster and then on top of that we got stardust worm scars your hand your graveyard you can, uh, and you control level uh, eight or higher you can special summon it but banish one leaves the field and then uh you contribute to spell someone to level one light dragon monsters from your hand or graveyard so that's uh, the stars form it's just another like extender combo a lot of these cards are just special summoning uh, or you, you can use it in the hand the synchro over the top uh this card is another newer pre-release card so you target a level seven or eight dragon monster in your graveyard you spell summon defense levels become one and then it's, it's another like stepping stone at the end of the day there's another bonus effect uh when it, a synchro monster destroy a battle basically it's a turn one gg so you, none of your stuff is getting destroyed you, you, you just say no effects for you i got quad boss monsters you're not doing anything okay at the end of the day. unless they open up with exodia it's pretty much a gg and then we have ready set duel which is a continuous which makes it so when this card is activating control no other cards you can add a synchro uh synchron monster from your deck to your hand and then once per during your stamina phase you can place a counter you remove two counters send it uh from the face of the field of the graveyard and draw two cards uh, then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. And it's actually a pretty decent card if you can get the effect. Uh, just being able to search is basically the effect at the end of the day. The other effect, eh, good luck surviving that long to get that other effect. But it does have basically, what is it? Uh, I think it's like shard of greed effect, basically. But Synchro World is another really good card. It's basically like gateway for the archetype. Uh, maybe a little bit watered down, though. Like, gateway is still on next level stuff. But um, each time uh, you Synchro Summon, you get to place two counters on it. And you can remove uh, four, seven, or ten, which I mentioned the effect. You get to special summon a tuner from the graveyard or special summon a synchro monster from the graveyard and it's really good enough to destroy it you're just summoning a crimson dragon so they're probably not gonna destroy it so um that's what makes it very very powerful for the extra deck uh, we have the cosmic quasar dragon which is one of the newer cards over there uh, so this one, it's it can be helpful. It's once per turn, you can target face-up cards on the field up to the number of monsters used for synchro materials plus one, and you get to negate their effects. So if you go second, maybe you can go for it, but like I mentioned before in my video when I was covering this card, they're just going to negate you getting to this step of making this card. Because like you, they're not going to let you library or draw 50 cards and then make this card, right? So they're just going to negate that. So keep that in mind. Already mentioned Crimson Dragon. It almost reminds me of like a, a newer version of Ultimate Soken, uh, but there's uh, there's Bestial Dispater over here, but this is more so a stepping stone but it has a quick effect to target a banished card and reshuffle it and then we have the excel star string card another again stepping stone just lets you switch someone a level one or two lower as another bonus effect but we're not really here for going over every single effect of cards here i just want to give you guys the, the important knowledge that you'll need but this is just ridiculous that you can go through at 15 cards in, in turn one and then set up like multiple negates and negate every single card that your opponent does if you synchro summon for hot red dragon archfiend king calamity on their turn now this card uh where is it um uh, this card is still treated as a synchro summon so remember this card has to, it can't just be special summon uh, i believe it has to be when this card is synchro summon it gets that effect so you can't just like call the haunted so just keep that in your mind if you just decide to do that uh, with the archetype but yeah synchros are going to be looking really really spicy uh, again if your opponent has no hand traps it's just ridiculous but anyways thanks for tuning in, guys if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you're new here hit subscribe turn that bell and skittles you a beast man you are a synchro god but i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm going i'm signing out peace